Hello and uh, welcome to this presentation on uh, how to use real-time streaming data to create a more immer immersive customer experience. I am Ryan Treichler, the Director of Product Management for SaaS Customer Intelligence, and I'm really excited to talk to you about this. So before we spend too much time about talking about how to use streaming event data, Let's talk first about what exactly that data is and why a marketer might want to use that data. So when any user interacts with a website or a mobile application, there's a large amount of data that could be captured based on those interactions. So there's things that, just, that are passed natively, uh, like the IP address for the user uh, and information about uh, the user's computer, but as they interact with form fields, you can track all those interactions, you can track the navigation through the website. Uh, anything that the user does essentially is something that could be potentially trackable uh, and, and usable for marketing purposes. And in the case of SaaS, we have a tag that is placed on the page. And this tag enables customer intelligence to capture information about what the, what the user is doing. So this can be configured by the marketer. They can determine which particular elements are tracked, what things are actually used. But it's a, a relatively straightforward implementation to, to get set up. Um, and it makes it so that you can then start capturing this, this streaming data. In, a, in addition to the system collecting data through its own tags, uh, event data can be passed from other systems as well. So there is an API to pass event data through an API gateway. And so there's a lot, a myriad of different ways that events could actually be passed from, uh, from other systems into this system. And then once you have all of these events, once you have all this information, uh, then you can determine what to do with that. And so one of the things that you can do with all these events in the system, or all this data in the system, is you can stream these events to the agent or another system. And that other system could be an analytic system to make some decision. So for example, you could have, uh, an, you can have a loan submission form uh, and the result, the the events from that form could then be passed off through this agent uh, to an on-premises environment where ESP or intelligent decisioning could look at the look at the elements that that are in the page and use them to make decisions about the about the user. So why is streaming event data important? So when you look at marketing and look at the construct of marketing messages, one of the things that's really, really important is understanding the context in which somebody is looking or viewing your message. And so by capturing streaming event data, the organization can be aware of the contextual information about what the user has done in that very session and they can use that contextual information in order to run an analytic model or to execute something, which then can be used to, to personalize something for, for, the, for the end user. So how do we, we do this? Uh, I mentioned that we have a tag that integrates with the website. We also have an SDK that integrates with the, their mobile applications. Um, as data is captured by Engage Digital or Discover from their web and mobile channels, uh, some of that data you can the the administrator in 360 can determine to pass the that event data from those systems through the event API into their on-premises environment, where this data can be fed to either intelligent decisioning or event stream processing for. Uh, for further decisioning purposes. So this ena enables um, the events to be captured in 360, they can be streamed into the customer's environment, and then in the customer's environment, the customer can work in a myriad of different tools in order to determine um, what the next best offer for the user is or how you want that particular user to be, uh, to be handled going forward. 
So those are how things are set up uh, in the system and what you know streaming data is. So it's a good who, why, and what of streaming data. Next, we'll actually get into the, the actual demo of looking at this working on a live site. Now I'm going to begin the actual demo of this. And so as we look at it, there's a couple of different things that I'm going to be showing you. And so I want to kind of point those out to you before I start uh, start the actual demo so that you everyone knows what we're looking at. So the first is we've got the, the website that I'm going to be navigating. And this is just a SaaS demo website, but uh, it has been instrumented. Uh, you know, it's out on the general internet and it's been instrumented with the SAS customer intelligence tag to do the data collection piece. Uh, and that's what we'll be leveraging to capture this, the streaming data. On the right hand side of the screen, I have a tool that's just showing me in real time the events that are being captured by the SAS tag. So you can see what's actually going on uh, in the browser. It's a way of visualizing the things that are occurring, but it's not really part of the product. It just helps uh, helps make the demo a little bit more understandable so you can see the things that they're, as they're occurring. Um, and then lastly, I've got uh, some VA reports that, that can be used to see the event data in real time. So just as we're looking through that, you'll see stats about you know how things, uh, what things are showing up, what things have been calculated, um, and we can see some of the, the more complex events that are being tracked by the system just to get a little more information about that. So starting out, we're, we've got the SAS website up and I'm just gonna, gonna refresh it so that it, it um, identifies that I'm there. So you can see that it, the, this has identified me. The identification doesn't mean that it's actually really recognized me as a person based on a deterministic identity. Right now it's just saying that it's been able to issue me a cookie and uh, I have an identity even as an unknown visitor so that I can be, be referenced in the future. If I were to click login, uh, that could associate that unknown visitor ID with some other IDs if there there is a deterministic identity for the particular user. You can also see the different things that have happened, so which pages I've visited so far and what what I'm looking at. So I'm going to navigate to the loans page. We'll see as I navigate, you know, those events are being captured. And so these are all different events that, that are being gathered by the system uh, in real time. And an example of what could be interesting with this is so we've got now a loan application. So with this loan application, uh, we can capture information not just about when the user submits, but as the user actually enters uh, the data in, we can capture that information from each of the form fields. And if they were to go back and forth and change things, we could capture that information as well. So, you go through and fill out the information about this. information you can see you know as I filled this out you can see all the field interactions that were captured so all that data was captured without me needing to submit enter just as as I went through in real time we were capturing the those different elements and passing that and passing them off so now that we've got all that data if we click apply now in this case what we're doing is we're actually taking all of the information uh, that we've got in those four form fields um, that had been entered as they were entered and passing them off to intelligent decisioning to, to make a decision about what to return. So in this case it says, hey, congratulations, we can, can offer you a loan uh, based on with this particular interest rate uh, based on the information that, that I had entered there. 
And so you can see we'll go here to form field interactions for this particular report for this and we can pull up and see uh, see that I entered some information into a particular form and if I go into the loan calculation screen you can see that it's got my loan identity submitted you can see that I submitted some information this is this is my identity for what was submitted you can see the the my income that I enter, entered so you can see that it is um, that I entered five thousand uh, dollars in in my income amount you can see the all so all the information that I entered is actually showing up there uh, in these interactions in this particular report to identify all right all this data has been captured by that captured by me so to mimic a user that was trying to game the system a little bit I've gone through and kind of rerun and re-enter the information into these form fields a couple more times tweaking the monthly income amount uh, moving it up and down a little bit just to see if that had an impact on what I got approved for um, the system however remembers what was entered in there and uses that and after they they get essentially one rejection the the user is told hey you need to contact an advisor rather than uh, getting to, to actually understand what's going on with your loan application. So you can see in the report viewer, you can see the, the number of times that I've entered uh, the different amounts and actually one more just popped in based on me making some changes. And as I went through and made those changes, you can also see uh, the information about, in this case, what's important, what the minimum income that I've entered was throughout all the times that I went through, and what the max income that I entered was. So in this case, the minimum that I specified as my income was $1,000, and the maximum that I specified was $5,000. So the system keeps track of all that. We have all that data um, as part of the events that are, that are coming out of the system. Uh, and that would enable you to analyze that and use that to make a decision, uh, which was exactly what was happening with this box right here. So whenever you saw the flashing boxes, we were actually leveraging the uh, the full set of data that was available on the co on the consumer, not just the information in this form, and then using using that total view of the customer uh, to determine what marketing message to serve them there. So this is one way that you could use streaming data to improve the customer experience, uh, to create a custom, better customer experience for the users, uh, and to also kind of protect the organization by looking at not just the information that, that was successfully entered into fields, but looking at all the information that the user has entered and looking at users that are entering information multiple times into the same, same field. So thank you all very much for listening to this presentation. Again, I'm Ryan Treichler, the Director of Product Management for Customer Intelligence for SaaS. That's my email address in case you have any questions for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.